the video for April the 16th, 2017 is entitled Late Night Video, Wasted Creation. It's been a long day for me. After going to a meeting, I went to hear my son's band play up in Coco, about 40 to 45 minutes uh, north of where I live. It's after one o'clock in the morning, and as I was driving home, I decided it was probably better to make my next video now. Yes, I normally make most of my videos in the early morning hours before the sun comes up and shines through my window. Unless it's cloudy, it's blinding, and when I close the blinds, it leaves lines of light across my face. So before I go to bed, I'm going to record this. Perhaps I should continue where I left off with the previous video in which I mentioned the insane flat earth diversion or distraction. Folks, I know some of you get all excited about this new religion based on the shape of the planet, but it really doesn't matter. What matters is that we learn to love one another. If we can't do that, then I guess it's okay if the planet is destroyed. If God doesn't care enough to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth, it's all a waste. Yes, it was, it's been another very busy day for me, uh, running from one thing to another all day long. And, and tomorrow and Sunday look like it's gonna be more of the same. Uh, more busyness, busyness, busyness. And uh, so I'm going to uh, hopefully catch a little bit more sleep in the morning, not worry about getting up, although I, you know, that may not work because I normally wake up before the sun comes up anyway. That's just, that's just how it is, even if it's a two or three hours of sleep. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I said I was going to uh, continue where I left off, and I just want to say something about my son's band before I move on to flat earth stuff. Um, I am really beginning again to enjoy my son's band. It When Brian died and uh, they stopped playing the music of, that Brian wrote, I felt that there was a, a letdown a little bit in, in the music that they played. But I'm really, tonight, I really especially enjoyed listening to the music. Even the, the there's a couple of songs that they do that I really, really don't uh, care for, like Kill, Kill, Kill the Poor. I, I'm saying, singing with them, and I'm saying Kill, Kill, Kill the Rich. And it's the filthy rich I'm talking about, the people like the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. They're the ones that we need to either, they need to either be transformed or taken out of here. And as far as I'm concerned, taken out and just vanished. They don't, beings with that mentality, that evil mentality, don't deserve to be allowed to influence anything or anybody. That's my opinion. And you can disagree with it, but I'm not going to argue with it. I'm expressing my opinion. You can turn it off and not listen. That's okay. I'm going to continue to, to speak my mind and from my heart to the best of my ability. And I want to see a world that is based on love. Now, again, the, this flat earth thing is a distraction to me. I got an itchy nose and I don't know why. Um, it's a distraction that it's just like another another religion with some new information and it's really old information because they primitive people thought the earth was flat and if they sailed too far they'd sail off the edge and fall off it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous when we look at the when we look at the the moon for example, which is the easiest thing for us to see, it's obviously a, a globular, a ball shape. Not just a flat ball, but a ball. 
and you can see dimensions in it, even with the naked eye, but with a telescope and stuff like that, it even becomes more obvious, and you can see other planets and their balls. They're, they're, they're not pancakes. So, so the whole idea of a flat Earth to me is nonsense, but why are we even focusing on something that doesn't make a bit of difference? If the, if the Earth, whatever shape the Earth is, we're here. And if we don't learn to love one another, it doesn't matter what happens to the planet. It doesn't matter even what happens to us. I mean, I, I, I certainly sure as hell, if God isn't going to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth in my lifetime, I'm finished with it. I don't, I don't want to come back ever under any circumstances. I want to be erased, just like I'm, I'm saying the, the evil ones need to be erased if they won't repent. Because I've always wanted good for humanity. I've, I've transcended the religious bigotry of thinking that we're the only ones that are right. That's nonsense. There are no true religions. There are none. None of them are true. Love is true. What is love? Love is caring what happens to the other. Love is trying to help others succeed, not fail. Love is the opposite of fear, not the opposite of hate, the opposite of fear. And, and what I fear is that we will never have a world where love is in charge. And that's a fearful thought for me. That's a fearful concept to have a, a, an existence where there is no love, where there is no understanding, where there is no peace. And there can't be peace. If you're constantly warring, you can't be, be at peace. And you, if, if you don't love yourself, as I said in the previous video, you can't love others. So it begins with, with loving ourselves, but recognizing our eternal nature, that we are children of God. And we haven't been allowed to be children of God. My friend Steve and I talk about this, and, and he still thinks that, that it's the way it is and, and, and God doesn't make any mistakes. No, if God has allowed this to happen, it's a mistake. I'm sorry, it's a mistake. Yes, I'm judging God because I can't handle the insanity of what I perceive with my thing. And it's not just an illusion. It is the current reality of human experience that's always real it's not fiction it's not fake even if it's not eternal it is now it is present now and the now is what exists now is really all that ever exists and i want a now that's filled with joy a now that's filled with love a now that's filled with peace a now that's filled with cooperation where people actually help lift one another up, not compete with each other and try to push the other down. When are we going to get it? How are we going to get it? I don't know the answer, but this is the driving motivation of my entire life. It's why I live and I'm fighting for my life. I'm exercising, I'm building my stamina back up, I'm, uh, taking care of myself to the best of my ability and in, in, in what I eat and, and I'm, I'm just doing things to preserve my life and to, and to prolong it as long as possible. But I want my life to be meaningful and I need for God to keep the promises to, to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth and to bring real justice to the situation that we as humans have found ourselves unfortunately um, enslaved by that needs to be corrected anyway thank you for listening folks uh i don't know how good this is and it's it's the one it's going to show whether it's good or not namaste